Hey everyone, today, I'm unboxing the Bamboo Lab AMS. And I'll be setting up multiple AMS units, using the 4-in-1 PTFE adapter. Let's get into it. First off, the packaging is really nice. Inside, we've got some spare PTFE tubing and manuals. Some cables. And a filament buffer. If you bought the combo version, you probably won't need the buffer. There are also four reusable spools, three of them are regular. And there's one in gray. I believe that's the high temp reusable spool. We've got three tubes in different sizes, and a connector. For screws. And to spare cutters. And, of course, the manual that no one ever really reads, right? Since we're using the 4-in-1 PTFE adapter, we'll need something to keep it in place. So, I'm going to print a bracket and mount it next to the buffer. I'll add the link for the bracket file in the description below. Alright, the bracket's ready, so let's install it. I'm using the screws that came with the external spool holder. Very simple, just tighten two screws and you're good to go. Here is the 4-in-1 adapter.
the 4-in-1 adapter fits perfectly. The PTFE tube from Bamboo Lab. Now, we need to measure the tube length between the adapter and the buffer. Looks like 5 centimeters, or about 2 inches, will do the trick. Now, let's put everything back and connect the second AMS unit. I don't have space to set it up on the side, so for now I'll just place it on top of my resin printer. I'll reorganize my setup and probably print a stacking stand for both EMS units. Now, connect the second AMS to the first one with the 6-pin cable. and hook up the second AMS's PTFE tube to the adapter. Almost done here. Let's power on the printer, and open up Bamboo Studio to see if it detects. It took about a minute or two, but finally, it shows both EMS units. I'm going to test it out by printing some EVs. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Peace out.